Hey, what is going on, Aquarius? I don't know why, but every time I, I say Aquarius, I, I think of that song, Age of Aquarius. <laughs> uh, Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one-week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. Um, just a heads up, I've been getting a lot of emails asking why I don't do personal readings. Which, in fact, to answer everybody's question that I don't, don't already know, I do. Um, you just look for that information in the comments or in the description below. Uh, you know, feel free to check that out. I just get a lot of comments and I just, I mean, I get a lot of uh, people ordering, so I know some people are, are aware, but for those of you who are not, just check it out. Um, you can check out my website, butchtarot.ca. Um, but for now, let's get it. Universe, what message do we have? Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius? Let me see for Aquarius. Aquarius, age of Aquarius. My singing's horrible, I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to. <laughs> First thing I see, Aquarius, I feel like there's something coming towards you very quickly. You know, I see, I feel like you're going to meet someone. And I, I feel like I'm really taking off of that I feel like you're gonna meet the one and why why I'm feeling that way and why I'm confident in saying that is I feel like you've been manifesting this and what you've been manifesting is coming you know that ship coming in the one you've been waiting for you know we have this person waiting patiently and then we have the magician is all about manifestation you know, I feel like you've been, you've been wanting to meet the right person. You know, someone that you can share life with. You know, someone that you can share the good times with. Instead of, you know, I mean, I, I feel like for some people it's like you have a lot of fun, you know, being spontaneous you know, just kind of going with the flow, but it's almost like sometimes it, 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 it just be nice to have that one person to share things with, you know, one person to experience things with and to have that great cerebral connection with, not just romantic, not just physical, but cerebral, you know, on, on that very intellectual level, someone you can just have conversations with and talk about things and, you know, like I said, sharing experiences, sharing your loves and, you, you know, your likes and dislikes. And I feel like you, you've been manifesting this and, and I see it coming towards you. But here's a little twist. I see this person coming toward you is not exactly what you expected or what you thought you were expecting. But so much more. I mean, seeing a different perspective here. You know, sometimes we have an idea of exactly what we want. And sometimes what comes toward us isn't exactly that. But surprisingly enough, in this case, I feel like it's more. You know, like I said, I feel like you're at this point where 
I mean, we have the King of Cup. It's, you know, I, I, I feel like it's time where you just want to have that serious connection with someone. And with this person, they're not quite what you expected, but I see, you know, I don't see you being disappointed. You know, you knew what you wanted. And I feel like for the most part, it is what you wanted, but I feel like this person is a little bit different than you expected. Um, like I said, so, with this person, someone very intelligent, uh, someone that enjoys the finer things in life and, and, and really, I mean, there's this fearless energy with this person. You know, I, very passionate. I mean, we have, we have another king there. We have three kings going on. That's a good one. <laughs> um, someone that's fearless and passionate and just goes for it. Someone spontaneous and, and full of life. And I feel like that's the things that you were looking for. But with this person, I mean, I feel like there was an instant connection right away. Instant connection. It's almost like you, they fell right into place. But the one thing with this person that you weren't expecting is I, I, I feel like this with this communication you have with this person, I feel like this person is a little bit closed off, you know, is, is a little bit weary, you know, not overly expressive. I, you know, I feel like with this person, it's going to be kind of hard to read them in the beginning, you know, really feeling whether or not they want this as much as you do. Even though I feel like there's a lot of physical energy, a lot of impulsive physical energy, you know, I, I feel like some flirtatious energy even. But I feel like it's not necessarily how they look at you or how they talk to you. It's just this feeling you get when you're around them. You just feel like this is where you were supposed to be. This is where all the roads were leading you to. But I feel like there is that little bit of a hang up with that, you know, because I feel like you feel this instant connection, but you're not really sure what this person's thinking. You know, I, and I, we're going to chalk that up to, I feel like this person has been screwed over before. And I feel like they, you know, they don't want to make the mistake of, of just falling too quickly. I mean, I, I feel like this person thinks about you and only you. That's clear. And they know what they want. And they feel this connection as deeply as you do. I just feel like this person is is a little bit guarded. If, if I'm going to say it, I'm going to put it out there. You know, I feel like they do hold back a little bit. But I don't feel like this is going to stop this from moving forward. I feel like they're just not as open. You know, there's this fearless energy in this person, like I said, but... You know, they're just not as open right off the rip. You know, I feel like they're going to be a bit hesitant because honestly, they're feeling the same kind of way as you are. Actually, it's very similar. You know, they feel some sort of way about you. But the difference is I, they're afraid of, they're afraid of getting hurt. They're afraid of making a mistake uh, with that five of swords. But trust me, when I say this, they're feeling it. They're just reacting in a different way. I mean, I feel like they've been manifesting this as well. But like I said, I, I, I do feel like they've been hurt before. And, and I feel like it is kind of something that is still kind of fresh in their mind. So I feel like some patience on your end is going to be is going to pay off huge though. You know, I, I don't feel like you're just wasting your time here. You know, I feel like this person wants you as bad as you want them. It's just with them, it's like it happens so quickly that they're still taking time to process it. But there is this deep connection. And I feel like it is a lifelong connection. This is not something that happens every day. Absolutely not something that happens every day.
you know, in that lover's card, there is this deep connection, but we have to uncover it. And like I said, I say a lot of times, one of my token phrases, anybody that's watched me a lot knows I love this phrase when it comes to the, the lover's card, it's that iceberg love. We both see something's there, but the closer we get, the bigger it becomes and the more evident it becomes how deeply this connection is and how deep it goes. But like I said with this person, I, I I feel like they're just not. I mean, we have the moon card. So kind of like the your imagination getting the best of you. When I think of the moon card, I always, I always think of that, like you're walking at night in this big field. And this is just a vision I get when I, when I see the moon card, especially in this read, is that, so you have the moon straight ahead in front of you and it's lighting up the path but you're in the middle of a field and on either side there's these you know forests so it's dark over there and it's kind of shadowy and you're not really sure what's over there and some people just look forward and keep moving forward but some people their imagination gets the best and like what's in there what's going on over here I can't see over here you know but they still head toward the light of the moon. You know, it's, it doesn't stop them. It just, they, they, they may have more pause. But when I see this person and I see how they feel about you, it's, I mean, we have good things coming. You know, I see a lot of emotional fulfillment on, on both ends. You know, I, I, I see this person wanting this as much as you want it. And just because the reaction isn't the same, it doesn't mean they don't feel the same. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, they're thinking about you. They know what they want. They know what they've been wanting. I mean, we have new love here. And new love can be scary. Especially when it feels this deep. You know, like I feel like with this person, they've been hurt before by someone that they cared about. But with you, this is this overwhelming feeling, this overwhelming feeling of being connected to someone. You know, if someone that you cared about hurts you, someone that you feel this deeply about, people start to you know, the imagination gets the best of them. Like, how bad can this person hurt me? But you feel that fearless energy in this person and, and you got to trust in that. You know, this connection you feel with this person, trust in that. You know, trust in your intuition because I feel like there's a lot of happiness coming. And I feel like there's, you know, this person, as we proceed with this, uh, there's going to be a lot of big changes. And, and in those big changes, I feel like the more and more comfortable this person feels in this, the more they're going to be the person that you, you feel that they are. I, I feel like there is a little bit of fear. And I feel like they needed someone like you. And like I said, with them, once you open them up, it's going to be a world of difference. And I feel like if this is someone that you you've been needing as well. You know, just because we both act different ways in the same situation doesn't mean we don't feel the same way. You know, I don't feel like this person's like anyone you've ever met before and I don't feel like you're anything like anyone they've ever met before. So it can be scary, it's new territory. But their fear is based on how much they care. Their fear is based on how deeply they feel for you already. And it's happening quick, so it's a bit scary. But trust me, I, I, I feel like things are going to get a lot more open between the two of you very quickly. You know, I, like I said, I mean, that's the only pause I see in this is the fact that this person isn't exactly jumping the gun but I feel like you are on the same page. I feel like you've both man been manifesting this and I feel like this is this is where you were both led to. And it wasn't an accident. It was very much on purpose. 
You know, like yeah. I said, I mean, it's... I feel like the physical, I feel like they just, they just can't hold back. You know, when it comes to the flirtatious energy, I feel like there's a very flirty energy between the two of you. Um, but there's there's so much more underneath. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like hearing that, that be patient, um, but patient pays off. In a lot of cases, patience really does pay off. You know, sometimes we, we can be a little bit too quick to judge someone or too quick to, you know, um, come up with reasons why a person's acting the way they are. When in, a lot of times we may be so far off the truth. You know, don't let first impressions be the only impression you have from someone. A lot of people make bad first impressions. <laughs> um, with this person, a lot of fire. We have Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we have Gemini and Aquarius. We have some Libra as well. Feeling some Virgo. Scorpio and Pisces. And like I said, we don't all react the same way. It's what makes us different. But it shouldn't be something that should give us pause completely. I mean, you know, like... A lot of times we meet someone and we have feelings for them, deep feelings. We may even love them. And we can't always expect the person that we have these feelings for to show us the same way we show them. It's what, it's what separates us. But it doesn't mean they don't feel that way. I mean, in some cases it, it may very well be that. But I, in this case, I don't feel like how you feel about each other is, is is at all different. It's just how you're showing it's different. You know, and sometimes it's scary when you fall for someone and you're just like, do they, do they even care about me? Like, am I in this alone? That shit is scary. It's scary as hell. But like that saying goes, everything we want is on the other side of fear. You know, sometimes we got to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> I'm sorry. My grandma used to say that all the time. And I had to use that. You know, it's... I mean, a perfect world... You, you fall for someone, they fall for you. you. You tell them, you open up and you share everything you could possibly share about yourself in that first instant and they share it with you and you bounce off and into the sunset walk around a rainbow in a perfect world but very seldom happens that way and i've seen a lot of great connections a lot of great connections happen for people that just willing to, to be patient. And like I said, I know a lot of people don't want to hear that, but I mean, if you think of it in the long run, you meet someone and they, you know, you fall for this person and you feel like this, this could be your forever person. A little bit of patience for a forever person is a very small price to pay. You know, so, and if you really truly care about someone and you truly, if you, if you even so much to say is love someone, you know, is that not worth it? Be good. Take care. Stay safe.